Welcome to the Some Ordinary Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. By the time you're watching this, you'll be far more well-rested than we are, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Act Man today. I just want to start these off with uh, with our guest, of course. And we've also got, you know, my co-hosts, Oompaville and Nuxtaku. And how are you guys doing today? How, how, how's, how's this fine morning going for you? I haven't slept in 30 hours, so oh, you know, man. The days are you kind of blurring together. Sleep, dude. <laughs> well, no, sleep sleep now. my sleep. day is going better than the r slash cringetopia mod. That's <laughs> 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 for context sake audience as you're sitting at home watching this there is a war raging on the internet on reddit like many wars and that's the not Cringe the Topia. only thing that's raging on cringetopia <laughs> yeah. yes furries. what's cr- what's rage what yeah anti-furry sentiment is raging on cringetopia there's a war between the furry community and the non-furry communities we've seen some pretty wild shit just before filming this i don't know why it happened i honestly i think it has something to do with a mod like this is what i love about just like drama in general like especially low stakes drama you know when you have like nothing going for it right when mm-hmm. it's just like who cares yeah, when it's yeah, well, exactly. When it's just like dumb shit on the internet. Yeah. Also, I love watching it from the side. I, I just want to say you said the furry community and the non furry community. It's the furry community and the normal community. Whoa, whoa, whoa are you implying whoa, that whoa. furries You're aren't just gonna normal? Do our boy yeah. Like that. yeah, no, no, no. Oh listen, listen, God. listen. I'm I'm a mediary with the furries. Okay, I am in. Uh, I'm <laughs> in a few a furry man. discords. I'm the middleman. <laughs> I can communicate with them. They they actually the the fucking uh what's the free discord server there's a really one really the free Dis- nexus the, the mods of that the owners of that literally gave me control of it for one day last like year what? c3po yeah, for what kind of blackmail did you have <laughs> like c3po Dude, I'm, I, yeah I'm, I'm in with them i'm in bed with the furries oh no See, i'm not i can't say that i've ever been i can't <laughs> say that i've ever <laughs> moderated literally. furry discords yeah i can't yeah, say I, that i, I would like to it. put that yeah. on my resume yeah, so someday can, yeah yeah i have moderated a furry discord the whole thing would you guys ever want to go to a furry convention though at one point i'll be I would. honest i would i would fucking that'd be so funny that would be huge that's on my bucket list. I, I don't want to die before I attend. I want to, I want, I, if I go, I want to be with someone that I can feel secure and safe with. Okay, fine. Us. Okay, fine. fine. Tell me this: Would you rather? Would you rather watch the entire Halo show up until now, or go oh. to a furry convention for a day? There you go. That's 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 watch your the Halo bring show. up the Halo show, man. What do you mean not bring it up, dude? I was, dude. It just keeps showing up on. Did you it's see the so shitty bad. Iron Man scene? Did you see the Iron Man oh knockoff scene, God. guys? Please. Yeah. I've been so busy with other stupid as hell, man. I, I've only How watched the first two episodes. Show? <laughs> it's fucking horrible. It gets so much worse. It gets so much worse, dude. I just, I love watching a fucking train wreck and that show is all It's so is. bad. I love Halo. It, like, there's only one good part. The latest episode, he throws his, his sidearm at a grunt and kills it with his, p- kills the grunt by throwing his pistol at it, which is cool. But I did see other than that, that, it's yeah. so dumb, dude. Yeah, that's Bro, pretty cool. If only you got that, the love and respect dumb. that Killer Bean got, then it would be a true masterpiece. Killer Beans is fucking way better. I know. <laughs> yeah, honest to God, Killer Bean <laughs> is Killer Bean way is better than Halo. I, I still can't get the sight of his ass out of my screen. Oh my I God. Think it's bur- I think dude, it burned into my television. The, like... the sight of Master Chief's ass? It's like, why? Yeah, I, I haven't seen that. Like I said, I've only watched the first two episodes, and the second episode was pretty bad. But I've like seen clips and pictures, <laughs> I'm like, like, why I never thought I would be seeing Master Chief's ass. Like that was never on like a yeah. what do I want to see in a Halo show? You know, some badass covenant, like the prophets and the brutes. No, Master Chief's ass. I want to see what his ass looks like. Just work that into the show somehow. It, it reminds me of that scene mm-hmm. in the room you know, but- with Tommy Wiseau where they just like <laughs> they just clearly like they want you to see his ass. Like, yeah. Like, why? <laughs> Well, just yeah. before filming this, just an no, hour before start, this. When they start printing the Master Chief ass NFTs, then you'll understand. <laughs> yeah, because then they'll have rarity of asshole. Then they'll then they'll actually do Paramount Plus is gonna knock it out of the park oh, on that God. one. But you know, you know the thing is, for ten million dollars an episode, I I'll be honest, that's the that that is the most budget looking show for ten million. I don't know where the ten million is Dude, going. It <laughs> like, looks bad. The, I will say the most recent episode, the the they finally showed grunts and jackals and other types of covenant other than just elites that look like mm-hmm. fucking those football player things from mass effect what are those things called Krogans. the big things that are like the rounded heads Krogans. oh Krogans? Yeah, yeah, Krogans. Yeah. yeah 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 Krogans. yeah yeah those guys um they showed a, a, a brute at the end he was pretty badass he looked cool but other than that man it's fucking terrible it's so bad i literally just sit at it like an old man watching it i'm not happy when i watch that show <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sad. Before we did this show for an hour ago, I was playing Halo 2 Anniversary on the Xbox. I just downloaded it on the Series X because nice. it's updated. And I was like, what did they update it to it, right? And then it's like, oh, it runs smoother. And so I was playing it. I was like, dude, the cutscenes in just the Anniversary Edition fucking slap yeah. the fuck There's out so of much the better. show. Yeah. I was, yeah. Like, I was on the level Grave Mind and he shows them like, wow, this is like immediately way better than the entire show. Why didn't yeah. they just hire the studio to fucking do it? I don't know. Dude, Halo, but, Halo you know, here had we are the best story. It had the best story in the Halo games. And just, no, no debate. Debate's over. I agree. It, it did. And then, and then you got to three, four, three oh. with Halo four and then fucking five. And you yeah. know, the, so this is what I love the little, like, so I had this argument, right? Where this guy's like, well, it's different than the video games because Halo is a brand. It's in like, you got books, you've got everything. I'm like, dude, there's probably Halo dildo somewhere out on the market too. Doesn't no, mean yeah. that's the most consumed media thing out there. People, most people that know this shit know it from the video games. Let's right. not fucking pretend otherwise, okay? And I was like, if 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 they're not even looking at the video game, what are they doing? Like, well, the violence I, is pretty I, I cool. I, I mean, like the level of violence and yeah. like the brutality of it. Mm -hmm. Like the pla like a plasma pistol just like that, melts someone's face off in their entire head. Stuff like that is cool. I was kind of shocked by that because it, it was M-rated, you know? Yeah, it is cool. And, like, the newer games have been, like, mm -hmm. T because, you know, we want we don't want to have the M label. Mommy might not pick this up for little Johnny. Let's let's make Halo T-rated, but that kind of, like, that harkens such, back. That is so yeah. dumb, dude. Yeah. That is such bullshit. It's like, I wish... I, th this, is what I, this is what I always never got about the newer Halo type. Is Infinite T-rated or is it M-rated? I didn't even check. In, but that's T. the last... Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, that's the last game I bought on a disc because like, they didn't even have the campaign anymore on the disc for these games. So I was just like, alright, cool, whatever. Halo Infinite's a T-rated game, but it's like... Then you take away all the mature themes out of these titles, and it's like I, I don't know. It's 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 slowly but surely not leaving. And infinite, don't even get me started on it, dude. I loaded it up again an hour ago, and I was like, man, we don't even have infection yet. They don't give a fuck about us for now, dude. Yeah, it's season terrible. Two, Sucks. Two, it's bro. fun, but it's so like just lackluster. It's like just download Master Chief Collection. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Like, stop. Stop wasting yeah. your time. I mean. Halo 2 is so good, though, dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Let's all have an orgasm for Halo well, 2 right now. <laughs> look, it's the one game, it's the one game, listen, back in my day, back in my the day, not mind. everyone, oh. not everyone had the Xbox, okay? So, like, fucking, there was one kid with the Xbox around, and they had Halo. And that was, was me. People, that, they were the only people you could go to, and it's like, well, everyone can play at the same time. This isn't the PlayStation 2, or, like, we have to keep switching off controllers. Dude, everyone Wait, had the Xbox around like the GameCube where... <laughs> But then again, I grew up around yeah, like everyone I was the only one with an Xbox. We grew up around like the largest Microsoft headquarters in like the country, like the main headquarters. Like you know, I, the Best Buy where Bill Gates yeah, sold it... the first copy of Halo Three is like down the street somewhere. You know, <laughs> wait for real? Yeah. Wait, where were he's on like the video and everything? What? Yeah, that's in that's what in the Bellevue. Fuck? That is so sick. Yeah. Oh, that is so fucking sick. Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, I, so I, everyone I had we, Xboxes we had around cool here because like it's like big Microsoft Corporation. A lot of pe people's parents worked for Microsoft. Mm -hmm. They would get them or. You know, you know what we had around us, and I hate to say it, is fucking GameCube, dude. That That's is, what my friends all had. had. Dude, so dude don't sleep what? on the GameCube. <laughs> no, no, dude, it was the most boring fucking double dash. The fucking discs Come were this on. big. Double dash? Nobody had double dash back what? in the day. You know what games they all had? They had, dude, they had like off brand sports games. Oh, oh shit. God. Off brand, no. not even the yeah. official one. Off brand sports no game. Man, double shit. dash. You know what? Dude, do you want to know what the de facto fighting game for us was oh, back in the day when God. we were kids? An NHL title because we figured out how to do <laughs> hockey fights in it. That's all we had. That was our fighting game. No, we didn't grow up with WWE, Canada dude. Nobody had WWE. Nobody had. Nobody had like Tekken and shit. We were like, Smash hey, you guys, Melee? we can fight in NHL. No, dude, nobody oh. had Melee. Dude, my friends didn't have that. That was fun. Dude, I, I also the only... don't know anyone that had Melee. Like the first Smash I played was Brawl. Like just because yeah. no one had Melee, no one had any. Like dude, we had everyone... Nintendo sixty four. Like, everyone like where I grew up, or whatever. Every everyone where I grew up had Animal Crossing. Imagine, imagine <laughs> going over to somebody's. I didn't house. even know that what that was till I got Twitter. <laughs> I, 
Dude, I had no idea. When I, when I first saw it in action, when I first saw it in action, I went to this kid's house way back in the day, and he's like, I have Animal Crossing. I would hear every week about how great Animal Crossing was. And then I went over to his house, and I was like, what the fuck are we doing here? Are we just chopping wood? I didn't Man, even know Animal Animal Crossing was popular until the Rule yeah. 34 artists came around. I, dude, I was like, this is just furry sims. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing this. And then, of course, when Animal Crossing came out on the Switch, I'm like, I'll give it a chance. And literally, it was the only Sims thing, is good. Well, it was the only thing that put me to sleep for a while, man, because there's only so much Apple Click you can do before your brain fucking switches off, let's be honest. Yeah, but it's Ugh, it's fun. That, that was worth the gaming. It's there to turn your brain off. Exactly. We all, we all can't play, like, high-end fucking games. Sometimes you need to turn your brain off. Off. like recently you've been in invo- you've been embroiled in some drama <laughs> how have you been taken away from your war with the tv calibration <laughs> the tv community? calibration community um dude i i i worked on that video a whole lot in like the span of like three to four days and i was like i have to get this out you know whenever i posted it because i was going to visit my grandma the next day and i'm like i'm coming grandma i was i literally i was working from like 4 p.m to 11 a.m on this video and i took a walk at 4 a.m as like part of my break and then so i was like i was working on this video a whole bunch uh but it was great to get it out and great to like you know show this to everyone you know so it all it all really started when you tried defending elden ring and it all comes back to that one fucking from soft game it always every i swear in the last month it's exposed because this acer thorn guy that i was looking at right it's all about yeah, elden there's ring another too. one dude. another there's fucking another plot, one right? It's another one. So it's always just, it always comes back to that one fucking video game. So you take his review and you cover it. And I and I remember when I watched it, I was like, you get DMCA. So I saw it on Twitter one night and I was literally on the crapper. I was researching this guy and then you showed up on my yeah. feed and I was like, oh, dude, are you getting sued? Yeah. And then I'm like, what did you upload? And, and you already got your video reinstated. So I watched the video and I'm like, oh, you can't sue a guy over that. Get yeah, no, it wasn't even here. not but, instated. Like he just, he didn't fill out the claim properly. Like he... I don't know if you watched the video, but like in the claim, you know, he mistitled the video. I didn't saw it. put a link because he either deleted it and like I was late to the mm-hmm. party on this, but he was on my radar with his very first video or his first and second video because I was like, wow, this is really fucking terrible. You know, you you're telling people to kill themselves in this like second video of yours. So, but I didn't get to him until like a month later in the hot takes video remember the excuse when they called him out on that because he was like uh i'm just telling you to kill yourself in a video yeah. game in elden ring like you do anyways right yeah, that, like, was, that was a yeah. part of the uh, <laughs> you'll respawn <laughs> like, that was a part of the uh, uh recent video i posted but i like i had to cut a bunch of shit because mm-hmm. i was like you know i was coming down to the wire and i wanted to make fun of him for that too but that's the thing like with this guy there's so much to make fun of him like the deeper you go into the rabbit hole you think there's an end and there just never is like recently i found out that he was Dude, that that lucifer article like yeah. he was banned twice Good. before we all thought he was ban evading for one ban he's been banned twice before there's a video i found of a guy in 2018 and i can i can send it to you guys but he's celebrating he's like yeah quantum apotheosis he got banned and this is in 2018 and he was like this guy would call me a pedophile and do all this and all the stuff he talks about is stuff that this guy is doing four years later it's like serious deja vu you think the rabbit hole ends and it just never does so so and, and remember audience when you get banned for ban evading on youtube you're gone like you can't you can't come back to the platform yeah. so you would unless you can do it like keemstar though i don't even think you can do it like him you can't start remember, a business and be an actor no because remember <laughs> Leafy tried doing that and he still got removed again Leafy but keemstar tried is doing, do, doing that actively though still yeah, I, I feel think like he kind of got grandfathered yeah you know, yeah. I think Keem <laughs> got like, I think Keem got kind of like brought into the situation. Like, I think Keem became like an exception <laughs> to the rule, but I don't even think you can like, I don't think you can do that. So it's like when you get banned, it's like you would think you would do everything in your power to not raise awareness, but no, you're literally poking every fucking bear imaginable. Yeah. 
When, when I, he starts I, flexing that, ha, I got banged and I'm still here. It's like, okay, dude. He, does, he deserves to flex if he's still actually getting away. Like, that is kind of a flex, though. But my thing with this guy is, like, and I, I brought it up in the end of my video when I was looking at him, but it was that one fucking Lucifer article. So this guy started beef with another channel because they were showcasing, like, just TV, like, blooming. And he used Lucifer, and he's like, this is promoting religious hatred to other people. Look at all this outrage. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, yeah. man. I could not not imagine grasping at straws that fucking and hard. that falls in line with that big i didn't know there was peace in the TV message community. like the this gay liberal satanist atheist agenda like all this stuff falls in line dad fucking forget no dad you forgot fucking, the dad yeah, fucking sorry. dad fucking did you guys see first. that you, there was dad fucking Knox and caleb oh you no. got it we got it we got oh my god yeah oh, show them god. that yeah show them that message just that. give it a quick oh i i gotta i gotta if somebody has the link here real uh, quick we, we could actually read it right here um uh, i we can't could take actually... discord messages like seriously i've seen too many i've been the targets of a you'll, few you'll take no, this one seriously <laughs> No, th this one is insane. We have okay. to like, we have to voice act this one. It's so good. Okay, I posted, I posted it in like, the chat. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screen share this. Somebody's gonna have to, somebody's gonna have to voice. Well, would you yes. like me to read it? Oh my god, you have to, you have to give it, you have to <laughs> you give have it your to most give it your fucking like thing though. <laughs> who's the voice? Who, who, who's the voice? Um, who's the character? Yeah. Quantum TV. This is that the guy you made the yeah. video on. Yeah, here it is. Read this. What kind of voice does he have? Very pretentious. Um, Posh British voice. Do that. <laughs> Very pretentious. Okay. Just I just want to thank over. everyone for sticking with me. Yes! It's obvious most of these <laughs> other viewers like Stuff the FOMO, <laughs> Digital Trend, and HDTV Test are just Satanist in disguise. Every time I've seen one of their videos, you can tell that they are trying to brainwash the masses into their gay, liberal, satanic, satanic, atheist agenda. One minute someone could be watching Stop the FOMO and the next minute they start having anal sex with their father. <laughs> doing coke and trying to conjure demons with satanic rituals. Satanic influence isn't a joke. It was obvious already when Stop the FOMO ended up using the Lucifer logo to praise Satan and claimed he was just testing for blooming. God, I hate atheists with their satanic rituals. Every one of these people are going to hell and suffer for eternity. They need an ass kicking oh from God. some Christians. Also, the troll comments from the satanic atheists are getting banned. All the satanic gay atheist people accusing me of being oh a coward God. for deleting my video. I only had to delete them because of YouTubers gay agenda instead of people getting upset at me. Oh my God. Why don't they just let me be? Because they are heterophobic anti-Christian pieces of shit. I don't want to participate in the anal sex <laughs> that other people tell me to. <laughs> Remember to stay strong in the faith of Jesus Christ who died for our sins. God loves you and will prosper! Wait, Bravo. Wait, can we, can we, can we that tell was us what subreddit that was posted in, please? Please, please, wait, you, what, you say, please tell us the subreddit that post was in. <laughs> this was posted in r forward slash OLED gaming. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine just connecting to the OLED gaming board that day. I want to see, I want to see the best TV. And then you fucking yeah. read that shit in the morning. <laughs> I don't want to participate in the anal sex. I do not wish to participate <laughs> yes, in your anal sex. That was a huge thing when I was watching this guy. There was a lot of hatred for just anal sex. There was like the homophobia was one thing, but like it's just like I think it was really centered around like anal sex. When it was like anal sex with the father, I was like, wait, wait, wait hold on. Obviously, obviously, you must have seen you some. Must have you seen know? some shit. Yeah, this dude. guy's definitely talking from a perspective of having yeah, had no, anal he sex before. Wants yeah, to like, have it for sure. Of... That's he's like, but he hates himself for that. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Oh man. Yeah, like yeah. there's a lot of repression I think going on. Like it's just when I saw it's like when something gets too specific, it's like all right, they, take a step back. Let's 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 regroup a little bit. But yeah, that was one such example that was like, uh, I think it's going to die down. Like, I don't think he's going to like really retaliate. Like he might have like, uh, he might have a few more takes about What's video games. Force but... you to have anal sex? <laughs> Well, that might be a thing. Who knows? With my dad, I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's well. that's. Uh, it started off so small. This is the thing that always fucking surprises me when it comes to stupidity on the internet. Like, I'm sure in our times we've all posted some stupid shit. You know, I posted stupid shit. All of us yep. have. But like the yeah. thing is, so there's two ways you can go about it, right? Like you can either 
fucking acknowledge it and tell people, you know, you've learned from it, you moved on, you know, just be mature about it, right? Simple. Or you could fucking strike and try to scorched earth the, the entire thing, and all of a sudden, I mean, more people tactics. see it. <laughs> like, but just just to be clear, though, yeah. the the level of stupid shit that that guy posted. No, yeah. I mean, how can you even? You, you just don't in. fit in at that point. You just you're 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 yeah, you don't fit in. Well, you're, you're not allowed to be here. Should, no, I, I love I love when like they exposed. Well, I, I remember <laughs> yeah. when they exposed the Twitter account. It was like, because uh, he had like a bunch of homophobic shit that was posted. And then he's like, I got hacked. And I was like, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> so somebody hacks me, right? And they just started posting like all the fucking like craziest racist <laughs> shit in the world. And I got my account back. Do I just leave it up there? I'm like, you know, it's a memento for when I got hacked. Remember all that racist shit my account yeah. posted? I'll just keep that there. So a year from now, I can open a bottle of scotch and remember when I got canceled for saying some racist shit. But it wasn't yeah. me, I swear. I was like, dude, what, what kind of excuse? If, if he was, like, sorry wild. about that stuff, he would have just said, like, oh, like, even if he was stupid enough to be like, oh, I didn't delete that stuff, like, yeah, I think it's wrong. But that's the thing, it's like, we're dealing with a man who is such a narcissist who cannot admit... Bro, you expect him to pander to the gay liberals <laughs> like that? But no, he cannot no. admit... <laughs> Cannot what are you doing, bro? A Come mistake. on. And that's why instead of like saying, yeah, I don't think that or believe that because he would be lying to himself and admitting that like change is bad or that he's changed and he can't do that. So it's like scorched earth. Just delete it all. I was hacked. It wasn't me. Mm -hmm. You know, I was hacked. TV can't wait for Elon Musk to buy Twitter today so he can keep all those tweets up. He's <laughs> like, I won't get deleted. <laughs> What do you guys think about that? Dude, I think it's fucking insane. I woke up this morning. I was like, are they seriously finalizing a deal? Now, to be fair, the article that said he, he's about to buy it, the source was literally, source, just trust me, bro. I know just what I'm talking me. about. So There's a lot of people that have reported it now. Yeah. Sources say, Reuters, Reuters. Yeah, but like Reuters. Yeah, but Reuters uh, and all those. Did you see that uh, the Bill Gates thing? Like the conversation he had with Bill Gates? Where yeah, he dabbed on Bill Gates. Bill Gates basically says, hey, we would like you to... boner fast. Oh, oh my, my God, God yeah. dude, what a great tweet. But first, wow. Bill Gates says Bill. to him, like, uh, hey, would you like to join me on this philanthropic adventure where we're going to, like, help the environment? And he's like, are no, you no, 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 wait, no, wait, hold on. Before Tesla? you go, before you say that, remember, put it into context for the viewers, okay? These are <laughs> multi-billionaires who are talking like they're about to collaborate <laughs> on a super <laughs> video, yeah. remember? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh like, they're about to collaborate lab on something imagine imagine for yeah, about hop on Bill this track Gates. elon like, Why did me, you tweet that? like nux me and you imagine imagine uh, i like fucking your hey, your Buddha, elon you musk like and i'm bill gates right <laughs> i just shorted your company with the hundred with half a billion dollars i'm basically fucking you all right and i'm like hey nux you want to collab how do you respond to a man that's fucking you in the half a billion like, bro, dollar range you, you make okay this actually feels a little close to home someone makes like an exposed video they try to cancel somebody else okay and then they yeah. reach out to them. It's like, hey, you want to hang out? <laughs> you want to collab? Yeah, I know I spread all those crazy allegations on you, but hey, man, can we still yeah. get a beer later? Yeah, it's kind of like that. I mean, this is like two fucking billionaires running it. Now, I will say the lose a boner fast thing. Oh First off, I didn't know that the pregnant man emoji was a thing. So I like looked at that real quick. <laughs> you you that verified that that was. That's pretty dope. <laughs> I, I, that's me after I eat ice cream well, well I, ha I had my girlfriend because she had an iPhone I was oh, like poop. you text me the, the pregnant man emoji because I want to confirm if it's real so she texts me the pregnant, pregnant man. man and then I look at it on my phone and I'm like dude so the iPhone has like the coolest like most detailed <laughs> pregnant man emoji and fucking Samsung out here fucking filming like the most dumpy looking pregnant God. man emoji I was like yo you got the good shit and, th and then I see the Elon Musk tweet and I'm like dude there's no fucking way there is no way <laughs> There's no way multi-billionaires wake up <laughs> tweeting like this, man. What the Dude, fuck? That's why he's like, he's in his own league. And then he tweeted the shout yeah. out and cancel reviewing. <laughs> <laughs> he had a picture of a couple of guys in cloaks. It's like, you have a 9.8 stake in the company, you ass. Of course we're not going to shadow pan you anymore, you fuck. What are you on about? But, but like, he's putting, like, some serious money down. I was reading, like, how much was the Activision buyout again it's for like Microsoft? 60, was that, like, 68 billion, billion I think. I forgot. Yeah, so 68 billion. This is, like, what, the second largest thing? It's a man buying his own social media platform. Look, somebody has gotten so rich to the point that, like, when they wake up, it's like, I'm not going to buy Twitter Blue. That's stupid. I'm just yeah. going to buy the whole thing. I'm going to buy one whole social media site. That's it.
He fucking did it. Yeah, dude, at this one. Wait until he buys Instagram. Dude, Netflix has fallen so far that even Elon could be like, why would I buy a Netflix sub when I can just buy the whole service? All right, fuck it. Right, he's just, he'll just start licensing the individual shows and making them available on Twitter Blue. I'm so I'm so <laughs> glad Netflix is fucking... Like, yeah. I, I used to love that shit until they canceled Altered Carbon, and that was just like complete crap yeah. on that fucking show. Yeah, bro. I didn't even really like the second season, but it was pretty, still pretty yeah, good. Yeah. The first season, though, I took your is goes. I watched the first season. Goes of so Carbon. hard. It was really good. It goes Altered hard, dude. What? It's good. And uh, you know what doesn't go hard? Altered is Carbon. That an anime? Altered Carbon. Have you ever seen it on Netflix? No, I don't watch anime. No, no. dude, no. This shit is no. It's a live action sci-fi. You say that with the proudest so, okay, face. Okay, the premise is. Sick, I don't watch the premise... anime. <laughs> I really don't, dude. I, don't. I just I look at cartoons and I can't. I just even like. Stuff that's as funny and as high IQ as Rick and Morty, I can barely watch. I watch American Dad, bro. That's pretty much where I'm stuck at right now. Dude, why are you so... <laughs> you're so on the Rick and... I was joking, bro, but you fucking love American Dad I do. so it's much. It's a fucking good show, bro. I love American Dad, dude. It's my favorite. Dude, oh. you know the entire night when I was working on this video, I had the whole fucking season playing next to me, just back to back to back, bro. It was like, I love, you know the best, do you sing <laughs> I do, oh, I fucking, God. yes, I do. I'm sure I'm like, you good do, morning, bro. Was- I go fucking hard on that, dude, I don't even care. My neighbor can That's probably funny. hear that shit every night I go at it, and I don't care if my neighbor can hear it, because I like that show, dude. It's God like good- damn it, he's watching American Dad again. <laughs> It's so, dude, it's so, it, like it's just like downstairs in my television. Like my entire neighborhood can see what the fuck I'm watching. So I had to change my TV viewing habits downstairs because I was just watching like fucking TikTok cringe nonsense. And so like my entire neighborhood could just see that shit on my big ass TV. Like this guy's fucking watching some insane nut. Now it's all just American debt. My entire fucking like neighborhood just looks at my house as they're playing basketball outside. They're like. This is American Dad season time. He's he's getting on to it. They they probably feel that you're less weird now. I don't know if that's true, man. I think my I think my neighbor's still <laughs> hating. Not. My neighbor, dude, my, yeah. the for first week I moved here, my neighbor was such a fucking hard ass. Such an anno- dude, this guy jumped in front of my car to make a point or something. So I, I guess I drove a little too fast in the interior lane when I was coming in. Like me, I wasn't even too fast. I was just like, you know, I got to get home. I'm going to just try to get back. And he jumps in front of my car. Like he jumps in front, like he's about to get hit by it. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Slow down there, buddy. You might kill someone. I'm like, yeah, I'll probably kill your dumb ass if you keep doing that shit. <laughs> so I don't know. My, you my did try that again. On, honestly, like I was, I'm like, you better fucking try it again. I'll switch this shit to fucking second gear. We'll go right the fuck in. Dude, I'm not even gonna try to be fucking coy bro, about this. Bro, you'll go warp speed on his ass. I'll warp speed, dude. I was about to go to that Lexus thing, man, and it's just it did not happen. You'll moonfall him, dude. That I, I still have to watch that movie. <laughs> I, I still have to like fucking find where that is. You guys haven't watched, I haven't it? watched it yet? No. no. I'm, I feel I'm, like I got what I the like fuck? I got the highlights. I'm I'm week. trying to save that so I can watch it with the girlfriend at some point. Like I want to watch Moonfall with her. I haven't watched it either. Oh, then why the fuck were you trying to shame us right now? You haven't watched one of the greatest <laughs> wow. movies ever. No, wow. he didn't watch it because there's CGI. He just can't watch animation, bro. Yeah. I don't like watching yeah. cartoons. I can't <laughs> well, get into it. How are you in this chat then? It's not even. How are you in the yeah. chat then? Look, we got a cartoon right here. Yeah, we literally have like an animated <laughs> NFT right here. What the fuck? That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, every right. time, every time he joins the call and sees me, he's like, "Ah, oh, goddamn it!" He's like, "No, nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> no, I, I can only do it. I, I don't know, man. Animated for me is like, I'll do the. I can't watch like fucking any show anymore with like an actual storyline to it because I just. I usually watch. No, like, dude. I okay. For the last show that I tried watching was the Halo show because I liked Halo. Didn't go too fucking well. Um, <laughs> but when it comes to a f- show with like, when when you got to like keep track of like 17 things, dude, I can only watch TV when I'm like editing a video or doing something. And it's like, I don't need like something to like, I don't need like Game of Thrones on the side <laughs> as I'm working on something. <laughs> yeah. So I have to like, all right, stop, stop the edit here. I got to focus on like four or five pieces of political intrigue to track down. And then I just get cucked yeah. in the last season because the fucking show sucks that hard at the end that it's like, all that time investment gone. 
you know, over. I don't know a single person that was thrilled with the ending of Game of Thrones with the last season. I don't know a single don't person. Anyone. Nobody was satisfied or happy with it. Yeah. I was about to like, uh, I, I remember like my buddies who, because they all started watching Game of Thrones, like my close friends. We all never watched it. They started watching it. And I got to like the first episode. And I'm like, uh, this is really boring, guys. I'm sorry. Like, I have to keep track of like six things. Uh, I'm just going to play like Persona 5. Sorry. And that's what I did. And uh, they were done with when I was done with Persona 5. They were the final season for Game of Thrones. And I remember just hearing bitching upon. I had to mute that like group chat because it was just like fucking cope, cope threads, like just anger, like sadness. They were like, I can't believe this episode sucked. I could barely see what was going on in this episode. It was too fucking dark. And I'm like, all right, guys, I'm going to have to mute that one. You guys are going to have your little cry sessions, and then we'll get Bro, back to normality. In the last season, they were up against uh, an enemy that can, like, bring the dead back to life to, like, fight them and stuff. And yeah, they no. hid in a crypt. No, no, no. Okay? No, no, no they, they hid in a crypt. Like, no, with dead people all around them. <laughs> No, <laughs> they're like we should hide in a crib. Yeah, yeah. Like Tyrion, Tyrion just became a doofus after season like five, and I think that was the biggest insult. Is he stopped being a smart character? But well, that's when they stopped. Yeah. Following yeah, maybe the Elon books. should start buying some of these fucking shows and fixing them up too. If he's busy doing that, do you guys think Twitter's going to be broken though? Like after this, do you think anything's going to change? No. Do you no, I think it'll. I think you it'll think, improve. Uh, people are gonna. Have yeah. you guys used the new Trump Social Network, the Truth Social shit? Oh yeah, yeah. dude, Truth Social. I can't say I have. Truth Social. I've gone viral have on you? there already. No, I, they didn't let me in. They fucking canceled my application to get in. You have to like apply Wait, to get in. How did, why did they cancel you? Really? What did you, write, what did you write in your bio? Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I did. I did have fuck. I had a fucked up We're bio. Just like, yeah, I did. I did. Twenty four. Let's go. <laughs> You fill out a hundred uh, question no, questionnaire was... to see, like, well, how liberal are you? How democratic are you? <laughs> yes, what percentage? Exactly. And if you're like more than five percent, then yeah, you're, you're out fucking of here. off the platform. Yeah. Get out of here. No, they make you take the the well, political I can't get compass. On there, yeah. I'm like, I'm using a poor person cell phone. I can't go on with an Android. Okay, so it's not happening. Yeah, true. And I, that's as it should be, though, too. They should just make that a rule for all social media. Oh, only, only iPhone people can get yep. onto it? Yeah. Look at I that. Mean, to be fair, I just think that Truth Social, they don't want brainwashed masses that are, yep. you know, gay, liberal, I, satanic atheists. I'm going to say, Nux, when you Man, get onto Truth Social, I want to see how much porn I'm you joking. can post before you get banned. <laughs> Like, that's the true test of a free social network is, like, if you can post, like, a dick pic, will you get banned, right? Like, on Twitter, you can just post all kinds of porn and, like, they don't... I, I think that... I, I, is it against Twitter TOS? Can you, like... I don't think so. You, you can, can do, do nudes, anymore. right? Like, it's not like they'll ban you. Because I see so yeah, many nudes no. that keep showing up. But you can't do that on these, like, free social networks. You can't talk blasphemous about God. You can't, you can't do shit like that. That's not okay. No porn. The quantum TV post that we read, that's the kind of shit that you would see on that site. That would be like normal. That would be like that would that's be okay, but the porn's not. The porn yeah. is not. You can no, talk no, 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 about no. the gay the gay liberal satanic atheist <laughs> I, agenda. I why do you keep Illuminati. removing the why do you keep removing the dad fucking out of it? Like what the hell? <laughs> that's like such an <laughs> integral gay, part of the storyline. Gay liberal satanic atheist agenda is just like it's just it's, buzzwords. It's, one of the best lines it's everywhere. just it's good. It's like a buzzword sandwich. Like it's just like we just throw yeah, like all of them at it. They'll, they'll like One hit minute eventually. Someone yeah. would be the buzzword on sandwich. The, the gay yeah, liberal satanic that. atheist agenda. Well, that mm. that's dude. That's the well. You know, to be fair, like this is the thing that I find on like YouTube, like gaming circles as well too. Like every time, like when like a comic book shit comes out, you know what I mean? Like some fucking. Like a, a Disney movie comes out, right? And it's like they have like a they have like a woman in it or some like character. It always pisses off like this specific like comic book community so hard that like yeah. I just keep seeing like thirty videos of it. So Last of Us Two, right? This, we're going real back in time on this one. <laughs> we're going hard into we're it. Go, we're going hard into Last <laughs> so, of Us Two. Hard segue to Last of Us Two. <laughs> no, 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 no. But this is this is when it this is when like it all shifted for me. Okay, like so, Last of Us Two, not the best of games that I've ever played. Okay, like I think gameplay wise, it was okay. Like you know, it was the third person shooter, whatever. The story on it was like okay, this is just de it's a meanderingly long game. Okay, it is what it is. All right, and I, I if I had to give it a rating, probably like you know six out of ten. Right, like. It, game is fine the story wasn't any anything anything interesting i made one video just like sh giving my thoughts on it and like all these other channels are like fucking 50 videos 60 videos last of us 2 is destroying society and everything about it the gay liberal agenda strikes last of us 2 again i'm like 
man, can we just talk about how fucking dog water the gameplay was? Like, it's the same fucking <laughs> game from 10 years ago. But that's all I cared about. Then I don't Last know. of Us yeah. 2 dad fucking DLC going crazy. <laughs> yeah. well, well, remember when Mass Effect 2 got the ass shots removed and people lost their shit? It's like, wait a minute, they're removing the ass shots from Mass Effect 2? It's my favorite part. Okay, they, put the, they put them back in Halo you know, the TV shows. <laughs> yeah, they put put them back in Halo, Yeah, dude. see? They, they took it out of... Ma- well, what, wait, hold on. When the Mass Effect TV show eventually comes out, and it's going to be a thing, and it doesn't have as many ass shots as Halo, then I'm going to fucking rage. Then I'm going to get mad about it, because that's a central focus. Remember, Mass Effect True. was the first game to have an alien lesbian sex scene, and that fucking <laughs> sent Fox News into a hell pit. <gasps> oh, right. God, Pe- yeah. People don't remember back in the day when we used to have Jack I Thompson. I remember that. Me too. Jack Thompson, one of the most prolific Florida lawyers, disbarred over the fact that he would just sue Rockstar Games over the tiniest of shits. When, I, when we were younger, when Mass Effect launched, okay, for a lot of people nowadays who are growing up in this, like, Battle Royale world, without like you know all the single player was like the de facto gaming world you know like that's it we were like oh this back is... when games were good back when games were back now we sound old and bitter but like <laughs> they're, they're, they're not, they're, well, they're not good now they no. suck no yeah we, we are but like mass effect <laughs> one fucking amazing game all right like absolutely brilliant xbox 360 title at the time when when i ended up getting it i didn't even know it had a sex scene but like this was all over the fucking news at the time like fox was losing their shit i i didn't even know they were like they have an alien se- they weren't even pissed <laughs> off about like the heteronormal human sex scene they were just fucking mad about the alien <laughs> lesbian sex scene <laughs> i was like what the flying fuck are we getting this mad about it's like the dude at gamestop when i went to buy that game because I, I had never heard of it i was i don't know it was in 2008 or 9 right yeah, yeah. when it came out mm. yeah uh, Halo three around whatever that year that came out i lived in texas so i was just i was just with my mom and we went to go to gamestop and the fucking guy at gamestop was like you know this has sex scenes in it right oh, and i was like on, ah, what well, and my mean- mom was like uh just don't play that part and then we went home. Let's go. <laughs> you like, oh, right, every oh. night. <laughs> you, you saw that I'll whole like, that five part. seconds of sex. <laughs> yeah, I, love that part. But, I did. I played it a lot. You know, you know the funniest thing is that one sex scene from 2008 Mass Effect destroyed any sex scene from Cyberpunk 2077. To this day, oh, yeah. if I need to laugh my ass off after the most depressing day, I Dude. just load up Cyberpunk and I just witness one of those it's fucking so sex scenes. Dude, I, Dude, that Dude. game still... Uh pisses me off so hard like i still you, hate that game do you, i'm never I'm, gonna play it again yeah me neither so like i stopped playing it and never started again so i remember like when the news came out that like they were they were delaying the game right and yeah. uh it came out like fucking when they showed that e3 footage you know it's like a big ass crowd that never made it into the final build it was at that moment so as a programmer i was like sitting there i'm like how the fuck are they gonna get this running on like those base ass systems like we yeah. can barely run open world. Are you telling me we're going to have like 900,000 NPCs with their, okay, okay, I'll believe yeah. you, CD. Okay, sure, you lie to me all you want, I guess. And then the fucking game drops. And I love the community. Well, like when, when you, I am one of those people, like if I make a mistake or if I make a bad purchase, I'm just going to own up to it. You know, I'm going to be like, listen, I burned my money. Okay. All right. I fucked up. I'm not going to spend 60 bucks on a game and try to like lie to myself and say, it's good, you know, it's there. We played Cyberpunk, bro. That game was broken as shit when it released. The sexy, I remember they were hyping up. They were like, we're, we're going to hire actresses and actors to make like lifelike sex scenes. Wait, and they I, actually said that? Well, no. I, I, well, they were, they were trying to make everything super lifelike, you know, like oh they were trying to make God. the most immersive open world. <laughs> And then I see the fucking game, and I'm like, it's like two geriatrics at a fucking retirement home trying to fuck. <laughs> I'm like, is like that two, yet? It's like two fucking marionettes just like... <laughs> yeah, like, getting it was slapped like, together. It was, it was the one thing where, like, like wood. my dad, who, like, he's super, like, because he's like, he doesn't even, like, he, he's like, no, no, no sex in my TV shows. It's no, no, no. He saw that scene in <laughs> Cyberpunk, and he's like, what is this? Like, this is such a bad example of sex. <laughs> my, yeah. my, I even asked my dad, I'm like, dad, he's like, I'm like, dad, if I saw this as a kid, what would you do? I'm like, I wouldn't get mad at you, but like, I'd have to tell you what actual sex was like, because this isn't it. Yeah, it's nothing <laughs> like, like this. They, they look like yeah. they're in pain. <laughs> my dad loves sex and TV shows. 
my, my, especially gay, liberal, atheist, <laughs> satanic butt sex <laughs> that he's having with me. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no. My, my dad's. I told, my dad's also a ahead. doctor and also very conservative, um, and he just was. He was talking to a friend of his, and their patient came to them with many plastic horses stuck up their ass. And they couldn't get them out. Briar horses. Whoa, wait, 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 what? <laughs> I just heard this story like two days ago. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, many plastic horses lodged up their rectum and they couldn't get it out. Like they needed to do surgery to get the horses out. The plastic. Now, wait, hold on. How many horses did he stick up his ass to make it a surgical requirement? <laughs> I don't know, okay? I wasn't there. How many asses? All I do all I know is my dad proclaimed him stable. <laughs> Listen, an asshole yeah, is you like put horses this in big. His stable. You put horses oh, in his oh god. god. Okay. That's you can't pretty good. Have that. Yeah. How many your horses is that big? Do you how many horses do you <laughs> stick up your ass before you realize it's a bad idea? That's what I want to know. Like, at what point did he was he how like, big are they? Uh, well, maybe this is the right thing time. to do. Well, how many <laughs> you think he was doing it like he's sitting on the toilet just shoving him up his ass? <laughs> that's, that's, that's one there, that's two, that's well, how many do you have to oh. stick up your ass Ooh, before you say the this hop? is so erotic? Yeah, like, yeah, well, how many, how many do you think you'd have to stick up your asshole before you think, oh, you know, maybe I should go to the hospital? Well, this is this is stock, you know. Apparently, this is not as rare as one would think because my dad what? has had a previous patient who came with a bunch of like vibrating. <laughs> Currently still vibrating, still stuck in the sack. Oh <laughs> and he God. went to him and said, Did your dad go, we should wait for the batteries on this to run out before we all If you can't God. remove them, can you at least turn them off? See, my my dad my dad works in the heart, like he's he's like a cardiologist. So I, I'm gonna have to ask him to like because when he worked in emergency, did you ever have anybody with like things shoved up their assholes? Because I feel like with the way your dad's described, it seems like a very common injury, right? Like a very common infection point. All right, I don't know about very common, but... It's- I don't know, man. I mean, people seem to stick horses up their assholes, so it's like, maybe it's a common thing. Dude, I literally saw the Waffle Pwn video again. That dude shoved the remote up his ass, so people clearly shove shit up their ass... And they end up in the hospital because oh of it. Let's God. be honest. Are you talking about happens. that old ass, like oh, the World old of Warcraft, yeah. Yeah. the Rage the, Kid, yeah, the World of Warcraft. Wasn't that kid, fake? Dude. Didn't that come out to be fake? fake? All those Rage videos are fake. I don't know, I like but think I think I, I think, like think it. A part of me broke when I found out it was fake or heard it was fake. I don't know. Same. Why did yeah. you break when you... I've been beaten down, busted by this world, I'm just now realizing. I seem like a bitter old man sitting here with my mustache. Also, I can th- we just th- appreciate that Waffle Pwn is the most early 2000s YouTube screen name you could possibly have? Waffle Have you ever Waffle seen his Pwn. streams recently? Have good. you seen his streams recently? No. He ju- Who he is just, that? It's, oh, it's the Rage Kid, videos. Steven. Yeah, he streams RuneScape, dude. It's like fucking... It's so 2008, like YouTube. Yeah, what? he streams RuneScape. Jesus. I didn't know this until I got the until I got the notice notification one night and i was sitting on the toilet and i was like dude this is that angry guy playing runescape what the fuck what an amazing life he's live right now is he playing runescape though no he's uh reviewing okay. jackass forever oh my god that movie was so fun the movie is just that was such I, a bad movie i know i thank you for, thank you for thank you nux i i how many friends of mine were like i like that movie dude it was so fucking boring it was so just First off, there's just a lot of dick in that movie. There's, that's all it is. What, what's wrong that with that? Is. What's wrong with that, Mudahar? I don't know. No, man. It's just it it's, sounds like someone's trying just, to squash that, down the gay liberal. I know, like agenda. it was it was like the gay liberal agenda just all over in that fucking show, and I just could not tolerate it. No, I don't. I don't know. It, was, it felt it felt really weird watching Jackass again because like it was just like old. It's like man, it was it was a product of its time. Really, I don't know if like. Like, I don't know if I just found it, like, I, I, maybe maybe I do feel bitter and old. Maybe, maybe things have changed, but it wasn't really for me. Like, there's there's only a few old movies that I can watch that still give me, like, that, you know. Like, I can still actually watch them. Like, iRobot being one of them. Jackass oh, was not the one. one. Dude, iRobot was so good. iRobot, like. So good. It's so, dude, it's so funny, because, like, everyone is, like, I, I keep telling them, they don't even know that that's a movie. How? It's like people forgot iRobot's a thing. I don't, I don't it's know. It's so good. I have to tell people. I, I dude, dude that bus I had, scene oh that my bus god scene where the buses are like rotating around <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Those robots are coming out. oh my god yeah. yeah i love that show dude, so much i have people movie. who are like they, they didn't eat, 
I, I had friends who were like, I robot. What's that? They didn't even know Will Smith was in it. They had no idea. I'm like, it is like the best fucking Will Smith movie. It's like probably the the, the one. All because right? they are an iRobot. They are an NPC. That's why they don't know they, about exactly. it. True. They're like, they're like, I liked I Am Legend. I'm like, don't get me wrong. I Am Legend's a great movie. I love I Am Legend. Legend. But I yeah, Robot is good. so fucking good. Do you guys want to know a fun fact? So yes. uh, I've kept every single movie ticket for the movies that I've gone to since 2008. Uh-huh. And the first movie ticket I have is for I Am Legend. Same. Oh, you I, keep your movie tickets too? I, I only kept the ones that I went to in Texas. So I only saw like maybe 10 movies. And the last one was True Grit. And the first one was I Am Legend. Nice. So I only Blood Brothers. <laughs> Dude, I, 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 I was so scared. The first movie I ever saw in theaters is like the Star Wars remake, the first one. Oh, wait, wait. Like the new or, or like the original original? The, the uh, which one's that mean? The original or the prequel? Oh yeah, I'm so that's like a fourth. Not a remake. No, not a remake. It's the prequel. Whatever. Yeah, the first movie. Prequel. I can't, Star Wars. Is... What are you talking about? The I, remake. I don't. I don't watch a new Star Wars either. Don't get me wrong. None of that shit's excited me at watch all. Either. Star Wars. The universe is too know, small. Man. Now this is progress. <laughs> well, 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 when's were you guys into fucking Star Wars? That were you gonna tell me? No, no I, please tell me. I do love the prequels though. They're really good. The prequels. I'm are into nice, Star Wars. Like, See, Do you I like, like the, the new stuff because though? I oh, know all the lines from the memes, you know? Like, I know all the meme lines. <laughs> Do it, you know? Yeah. Like, just say a line that's from the meme. Yeah. yeah. The only, yeah. Like, the only yeah. thing of recent... The only thing of recent... Yeah. <gasps> he said the thing! The only thing recently in Star Wars I like is fucking Rogue One, and that's it. Other than that, I just, like, was fucking... All this shit is yeah, all boring done. to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the what about Star the new Lego Star, Star Wars? Oh, the new Lego Star Wars game is fun. My brother, fucking me, are doing it. We're doing it big. I've never played any, any Lego, any of Lego Star, Wars. Star Wars. You never played the I Lego shit. I, I didn't. I had all I had was an Xbox. I don't even know if it was on Xbox. If it was, I never played it. it. He hates cartoons, man. He hates yeah, dude, cartoons. I've always hated cartoons. That's, That's why I don't play video games true. either. <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't believe you always hated cartoons. You, you, you no, grew up I, with Pokemon. I, I, Come on. Okay. You, grew, <laughs> you grew up with Pokemon. I like cartoons. Get out of here. No, I love cartoons. It's just an excuse. It's like every time someone asks me if I like anime in like a public setting, like Discords or something like that, <laughs> and then I say, I don't really watch anime. Like, and then I say, I don't like it. And then it makes them mad. So then I just keep going down the rabbit hole a little further. <laughs> Just ways to make them mad. It's but just, no. just, to, just maintain to maintain your public people. image. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah. To maintain that cool image, you're like, fuck anime, and then you're really watching the anime. Okay, well, like, what's the last anime you ever watched? I only watch claymations. <laughs> <laughs> like Prometheus and Bob. Did you guys ever see that? <laughs> From Adult Swim, no. or like, uh, I don't remember. Promethe- there was a show called Prometheus My and Bob, anime. though. My favorite anime is Meat Canyon. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Getting in true. He's about to go like my last anime was like fucking robot chicken or some shit. What was the Fuck What was off. the question asked? By the way, no, I was saying what's the what's the, like a last last anime you ever watched? Like the actual like you know weeb shit. An actual weeb shit. Uh, I watched. Um, I watched uh, Berserk. Yo. Okay, that's, no, that's pretty actually culture. That's pretty basic. What the fuck? No, no that's pretty base. I tried yeah, reading Berserk. Pretty and I couldn't basic, get into it. more it's like so pretty good. based. I couldn't get into Berserk. I'm really man. confused. No, Which is it? All... What about <laughs> Attack on based. Titan? I, I've seen a lot of stuff about it, and I've seen maybe the first couple episodes, but it was right, right when it first came out. Uh, Attack on Titan had like a Game of Thrones level ending. Not gonna I, I, lie. I, I, I okay, no spoilers. Through, like Attack on Titan. Yeah, no, no spoilers. spoilers. But it's but it's like officially like over, ago. right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I, yeah, I just I, love I, guts. The character guts and his theme for, from Berserk. After I heard the theme yeah. for for guts, I was like, "What the fuck? This comes from a an, a, a cartoon." <laughs> yeah. And then I watched. And then before that, the probably the only one that I really, really, really watched, which this you isn't say even that just to piss people off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I do really. And I fucking love it, dude. I love pissing I know, people you, off. The level of animation of Berserk, I wouldn't even know if it qualifies as like a cartoon. I will like say that that is that yeah. is a great Discord argument, though, Caleb, because I did have an argument like a years ago, like a really heated argument where I just like was like laughing the whole time. And it was the argument that Family Guy is an anime. <laughs> no, what? My so, argument. So here's the thing: in Japan, Family Guy would be counted as an anime. You know that, right? Like, because anime is just animation. That, that's Japan. what I said. That's <laughs> doesn't have to originate in Japan. Family Guy would be an anime, absolutely. Family Guy doesn't have to originate in Japan. 
No, it doesn't. That's for I mean, for again. us to call that's it an anime. anime. That's the liberal Satanist. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. I did not participate in this agenda. gay anal sex <laughs> with my father. <laughs> I did not participate yeah. in it. Well, I, I had, well, well, that's really rude how you had to add the whole like southern accent to it, implying it was only southerners that were part <laughs> of the game. I did not participate outside of one week every year. <laughs> yeah, but the, this whole guy was so pissed because I kept saying, I'm like, no, the family guy is without a doubt an anime. And then I was like, you know what? SpongeBob by technicality is also a fucking anime too. All right. Like all these animated shows. Well, then what, anime. what does that make the SpongeBob anime? Wait, there's not a SpongeBob anime. What the fuck? Wait, on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. No, anime. dude, that's not My official boy, though. It, it, until it gets copyright claimed by Nickelodeon, it ain't fucking official. Okay. So. Okay. But, but if it's an anime version of SpongeBob, then it's an anime anime. It's anime square. Anime squared. <gasps> yeah. Or it might cancel. Know, my favorite argument is the whole Avatar being an anime thing. See, that pisses people off. Because it's an anime-inspired American cartoon. Yeah. Do you know it's, that I said yeah. that on a video and that's I got canceled for that? I dude, I'm For so saying glad. it's an anime? <laughs> dude, it is. It, like, dude, you had I, animators in Japan or Korea had, or something. Do, do, do you know how confused I was? Like, I, had, I was like, I, I felt like I was fucking gaslit after I uploaded the video. Because, like, it wasn't even about, like, it literally wasn't even about the topic. Like, the fucking comments, I'm looking through and I'm like, I can't believe he called Avatar the Last Airbender an anime. And I'm like, and, I, and, then, and then I'm like, and then I, I open up my monitor. I'm like, wait, let me watch a clip from the show. No, it's fucking anime. It's yeah. fucking anime. Like, what do you want about it? It looks like fucking anime. All right? Like, shit. And, th and then they were like, it's an American. Like, first off, they were all like, uh, first off, it's an American show, meaning it can't be anime. I'm like, dude, I call the Boondocks anime as well. Don't fucking act like that, all right? Come on now. If that style matches, I'm going to say it. But yeah, I got fucking removed. For I'm so glad, Nux, you agreed. Because you, your word gives credibility to my fucking oh, madness God. at this point. <laughs> I love that show. That's a good show. Avatar? That is a yeah, character. Avatar. The the scene in which uh, in which Uncle like Iroh is crying over his lost son. Mm. That's Leave quite a sad scene. When when was the last time you guys watched the M Night Shyamalan live action Avatar? I've never seen it. I've never seen oh, it either. It's been a while. It's been a while. I saw it 4D in theaters. Oh, it looks so God. fucking dumb. I just. Didn't see it, even when I was a kid. Is, I'm not even going to shit on you for that, because I remember when Ghost in the Shell came out live action with Scarlett Johansson. Uh, My ass. Uh, Dude, I actually like that movie. I'm sorry. Like, the whole fucking theater was cringing, and I was the only motherfucker. I was like, yeah, I paid yeah, for it. because you were the only person in the theater that didn't watch the You're the only person in the theater jacking it. off. I, this <laughs> whole, I watched the original Ghost. I love the Ghost in the Shell anime. Dude, I paid for the AVX Ultra tickets on it. You know how much oh bitching God. and moaning I heard from people who bought the B? Ears, the food, the AVX. I'm like, dude, this night is a sixty dollars right, night for you. You. Went, you went to a movie theater full of quartering subscribers. I, dude, I, <laughs> dude, I, 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 I'm telling you, that's what it felt like. And I was the only motherfucker. I had my popcorn. I had my drink in one hand. Then I had Ghost in the Show. I'm like, it's fucking sick, dude. Like Scarlett Johansson's kicking ass. I got beat Takeshi, and I was like, this movie, this movie looks nice. I don't even, like most of it's a CGI film anyway, so I don't even care. And all I heard was like just bitching and moaning and like sadness. You know, it was because of that that I stopped going to theaters, and I didn't go to a theater for a long time until the Slender Man movie came out. So Why? I went... <laughs> okay. What? Okay, that so, so what? Guys, okay, so so you remember when the you guys know the Slender Man movie, right? Like yeah. Fuck Sony Pictures. Yeah, I didn't even know it played in theaters though. So I thought it was like directed DVD. <laughs> it played at my theater, like in my <laughs> oh. cinema. So when did you I went... have it played specifically? I did not have it played specifically. <laughs> I went to the theater that day with my friends. And my friends wanted to go watch some other fucking shit that was, like, really good or whatever. It was just some Marvel crap. And I was like, guys, 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 stop. We have Slender Man the movie. And it took a lot of convincing. I felt like an FBI hostage negotiator. I convinced two people <laughs> to pay for the wow. ticket and watch that shit with me. That's impressive. So we went into the Slender Man theater. So I, I will say it had like seven to eight more people than the Morbius theater shit. Like actually watching. And there was this one douchebag. <laughs> there was this one douchebag in the Slender Man thing that was actually watching the movie. Like they were actually fucking enjoying it. <laughs> like they were act like an hour in. I was there, so like joking. I, I was just, I, I kept on having beer after beer after beer, just like fucking laughing and shitting on this movie. And this one fucking guy's like, some of us are trying to pay attention to this movie. I'm like, okay, all right, there, okay, all right, even Steven, no one's, 
<laughs> like you paid for the Slender Man ticket, you knew we were gonna come in here and make fools of ourselves on this movie. Bro, you mean there are eight pages? Yeah, dude, dude, <laughs> yeah, that's literally dude, I swear <laughs> to god, the fucking game, dude, Markiplier's video had more lore for Slender Man than this whole fucking movie did. And I wasn't the only one shitting on this movie. There was a uh, there was like a whole other group of drunk assholes making fun of the movie too. We had one guy watching the movie legitimately, and none of us understood it. I'm like, dude, we are 45 minutes into this pile of ass, and I'm surprised they even let this come to theaters. I'm surprised this wasn't straight to streaming. All right, like not even DVD, straight to fucking streaming. You know, but. That's uh, that 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 was my, that was my that was my last like movie experience, and then all the Marvel shit came out, and then you know COVID happened, and then no movie. Last movie yeah. I watched was like Batman. Like uh, I was gonna see Sonic, but then I was like, oh Batman, let's watch this one. I did good, see the good, new Sonic good movie choice. The new Sonic is it good though? Is it really good? Um, I really liked it. I mean, if you're expecting like some mind blowing like super. Uh, <laughs> it's sonic i know yeah, it's sonic, it's sonic right? it just has catch. to be sonic and it has to be cool dude knuckles is so fucking cool he's so fucking cool in that movie <laughs> well it was apparently jim carrey's largest box office opening fucking sonic the hedgehog it's also the potentially his last movie, movie really? ever he retired well dude he's like 600 fucking years well, old he's kind of like no. he's kind of like <laughs> yeah uh, if a project really speaks to me maybe i'll come out and do it so wait sonic yeah, something really important for sonic something important really like nfts <laughs> He's moving into NFTs. Dude, he's, he's, he's good. He's good as a fucking Eggman artist. Oh, I have to look up his Twitter real quick because you just said NFTs. He does and crazy, I crazy it. fucking art. I you know he's legitimately going into NFTs. Wait for real? I don't know, but I assume he he does art. He does a lot of art, but I don't think he's gonna do. It. He does like cool art, but I didn't. No, but like his Sonic thing, like. Sonic must have really spoken to him then. Shit, like Sonic. Sonic must have been like the one thing. Maybe he is like a super secret Sonic fan. And we just don't know. Or is he? I don't know. Jim Carrey has announced that his NFT drop will be called Magic Hour. No fucking way. And he will present his own paintings and the drop will hold spoken words. This was on April 8th. (laughs) Maybe he was just seven days late. That was when the movie came out. That was the day the movie came out. Oh my god. What? Oh, dude. So he literally announced his NFTs on the day the movie came out. His most successful movie, by the way. It's not like he had a dead career or something. No. Successful movie launch, and he had to NFT that shit up. Congratulations. What do you what do you guys think of the gaming though? When you when do you guys think like fucking Mass Effect is gonna launch with the NFTs? What do you guys think all of the NFTs are gonna invade the gaming world? Uh I think, that, I like, think we've movies? successfully repelled the NFT invasion. I don't think so, man. You think we're gonna have to gear up for another uh, fight? Ooh. I don't, I, I, I don't think they're gonna let it die. Man, who's the guy? Uh, who's the guy that did all the voice acting and he came out with an uh, NFT thing and then everyone shit. Troy Baker, yeah, Troy Baker. Troy Baker he came out with that. <laughs> everyone shit on him. Like, open their bowels, release the waves. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking spread the cheeks, blow Dude, it. Some of the horses like, came out. It. I'm sure we had some horse shit. You know, Nux's dad didn't have to do surgery <laughs> that day. It was like a natural fucking thing. It's like, all right, cool. <laughs> what's a uh, what's a game you're really looking forward to, Ackman? Honestly, dude, after beating Elden Ring, I, I like I feel this hole inside me. I'm like, will I ever feel this joy again? You know? Oh, don't hmm. fuck, don't fucking say that. I know that feeling. That... I'm on my third playthrough in New Game Plus. Well, it sounds I mean... like my buddy when Breath of the Wild came out. It's now. A, yeah, I. Uh... I beat Elden Ring, and then I've kind of been playing the Lego Star Wars interspersed. But uh, you know, like I said, I fucking went balls to the walls in my last video. So I just do you think what what do you, what what is it about Elden Ring? Do you think we're not going to experience in like another game anymore? Like what what is it about? Oh, it I was more more so being like hyperbolic. Like damn, you know, I was looking forward to that, and it was like this drug, and you know, I went through and I did almost all the dungeons. I don't think it's hyperbole. I don't think it's a, I don't think it is hyperbole. Like if you think what I personally feel about Elden Ring, I think it's the last sixty dollar game in a long time that actually felt like it was worth the money. Like it's been so long when you like this is the reason why I don't play too many yeah. video games anymore. Is that a lot of games come out for sixty bucks, seventy dollars. Um, you know, because they've been price hiked and it feels like you get very limited content for what you get now. People have accepted that, oh, the graphics have gotten better and, you know, maybe like games have become more like live service components. It's like you buy a skeleton and the 
game developers add the, the rest flesh. of the game later on. Yeah, the flesh. Yeah. Now, what's really weird to me is like it a game comes out and a year later it becomes like the final realized product of what it originally should have been. And I personally feel that those games have less content than what we would have gotten back in the Xbox or 60 PS3. No, days. yeah. Dude, that's what I was saying, man. When games were good, bro, every single game was just yeah, so Yeah, we're going to have to well, wait it, a, it like, like a year for infection in Halo Infinite. It, what? And it's and it's, it's a mode so where dumb. if you hit a guy with your sword, he gets on your team. Like yeah, that's yeah. it. That's all it what? is. That's all it is. And for me And are dude, if they don't if they don't for one also, if they don't put the flood in Halo I'm going to. Well, I'm not going to say any, what I'm going to do out loud, but I'm thinking oh, it. All right, do you guys. And I'm thinking do you it guys real know hard. The rumors of why Halo Infinite is kind of the way it is. Why? Um, I heard, I know it had a shit development cycle. Yeah, there were like, there were rumors really that they were. Uh, rumor is, I don't know how true it is, but rumors that they were uh, originally going the hero shooter direction with Halo. We're having a moment of silence because this is this is about what you can expect from this. Uh, that appa- hero apparently, shooter. I know that. I mean, I don't know if that's verified or not, but I mean, it's with the way the development it went, sounds yeah. right, right? <laughs> Did you guys see how they put the battle royale? I see Caleb's it? face this is just patch? like <laughs> Caleb's like, dude. Oh. I I love Halo so much. Like you guys don't understand. I, that, that every time anything I hear negative news about Halo, it literally. It's like a like I'm I'm a beautiful flower, Put, and every time I hear getting, anything negative, a petal oh, falls off. You're, no. you're getting deflowered okay. by. I've only got so many <laughs> left, bro. So many left. Just just uh, replay I Halo Two. To like, yeah. Replay Halo Two. The petals, the petals I go do. back. I, I want you guys to to relive this for a minute, right? Like back in the 2007, like back in 2007, 2008, Xbox 360 at its prime. Halo 3 drops on one disc and without any patches, right? Back then, patches used to be under a megabyte, right? Like, that's that's what a patch was, a day one. Right. So you buy a disc for Halo 3. You put that shit in your Xbox 360. You get the whole campaign, split screen even, right? With your fucking homie yeah. right next to you. Because that's, that's how me and my brother... This is a reason why I haven't even done the Halo Infinite campaign. Because I usually always do the Halo campaign with my brother. And I hate this argument where it's like, oh, well, why don't you just play it over Xbox Live? I'm like, I can't even fucking do that if I wanted to. I like playing the split screen, right? Like, it's a fucking different vibe playing a game like this. Yeah. It's It's been there since forever. It's like a part, it's part of the DNA. And then, like, beyond the campaign, like, you play, like, one or two levels, the night of release. And then you jump into the multiplayer. Like you just back out to the main menu, you go to the full multiplayer, you go to like Forge, you go to theater, you go to all these fucking options that are there day one. And now when you look at Infinite, right? Like they released the multiplayer beta, right? Like three weeks before the campaign comes out. The, to this day, months after launch, all you have is the campaign for a game that sure, it's better looking, it's open world compared to the last Halo games. Obviously a lot of effort went into it, but it is just a fucking campaign that they're making you pay 60 bucks for. So it better be fucking, you know, back to the brain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then the multiplayer is like, it's less than you'd get on the 360 era. Like, yeah. what the fuck? The multiplayer, dude. It's so bad, man. I, I When I was playing it, when they launched it, yeah. I was very happy. Everyone was It was, was very happy. fun. And it was very good. Yeah. And I was like, what? And then now it's just like. I haven't even thought about playing it since December. Yeah. Well, we had the. I, I remember. It's fucking I terrible. Remember like, I, I was like fucking riding the Act Man thing on, when you were talking about the progression on Halo, like fucking infinite on its drop, right? Oh, and how yeah. fucking ass that progression was. Because it's like, they thought, like, it, it's weird. Because, like, okay, so you made a free to play game, right? But you have to find a way to make people spend the fuck out of the money. My philosophy, if I was a game designer, if I was like a producer, my thing would be instead of trying to make it so that. I'm basically nickel and diming the fuck out of people playing my game. Like, kid, your mom's credit card is connected. You better fucking buy those Halo credits, you dumb fuck. I'd be making a good game because in my philosophy, like, I don't pay for microtransactions in video games ever. Like, it doesn't fucking, like, it doesn't make sense to me. However, if I put thousands of hours into a game and I put, like, thousands of hours into Rainbow Six Siege, I'm probably going to buy a microtransaction because I put so many hours into your game because the at its core it's good you know there's like right. so many it's things that halo could have done like like i i don't understand this reluctance of bringing back keith david and david scully as like arbiter and sergeant johnson in some capacity 
Like they did in Halo yeah. Five, but Arbiter in Halo Five was just like he didn't he didn't do shit. He didn't do anything. Yeah, like he had like three yeah. lines. He was like, yeah, but it's <laughs> like like yeah. the DLC so voice dumb. packs. Like even though I don't play COD Vanguard, like I think it's really cool that they're bringing in Snoop Dogg again. Like. But why is he always in the Call of Duty game that I don't want to play? Like, last time he was in Ghosts, I don't want to play Ghosts. It's cool that you got Snoop Dogg in, but it's just like, there seems like there's so many cool ways to monetize Halo that aren't, like, within a shitty kind of, like, challenge-based battle pass yeah. system that gets rid of the traditional progression of, like, military ranks, you know? Like, we don't have military ranks in Halo. Yeah, that's the only yeah. reason I played Reach. Yeah. That was like, yeah, I, I played Reach. I mean, Halo Reach, I did that. That's the most I ever played a video game. And I did really well and was, like, even in, like, a few competitions and stuff when I was a child mm-hmm. with an Xbox 360 because I loved it so much and played it so much. And then never even played Halo 4. Uh, and I played Halo 5, and I was like, all right, I was thinking about killing myself. <laughs> now I'm really going to do it. <laughs> You guys want to know something that's that's so. really interesting though. I was thinking about this because the last time I played a Lego game, I think was the original Lego Star Wars in 2005, and I'm playing the newest one like 17 years later in 2022. Mm-hmm. And the fact that it is so instantly familiar that uh, like almost everything is as it was before like, there's not a whole bunch of, like, oh, Lego, level up your Lego meter and use special abilities. Like, you know, there's no <laughs> Lego, like, you know, I bullshit. Like it's the same kind of... And that's right. what Halo's missing is you got all those old people and they hop in and they're like, wait, what the fuck is this? This isn't what I kind of remember. Yeah. Dude, yeah, even when Halo? you look into like old franchises. Like Lego like, Star Wars. Guys have played I hop back into Lego Star Wars after a 17 year hiatus mm. and it's completely familiar. It's completely it familiar. Well, it just, it, the, yeah. the, it's like muscle memory. You yeah. get right back into it. You're like, it's like you never stop playing. Like back in Bethesda does that shit. Back in the day, dude, it's fucking ruins the experience. Oh fuck yeah. Bethesda! Assassin's Creed. How many of you guys remember playing that back in the day? A bit. You guys remember Assassin's Me. Creed? Played it a bit. No, oh yeah. Played really. I played, I played the there. shit out of all Did of them. You played Nux? I played here and there. I didn't okay. really get it. So into Caleb it. knows. Back when it came out, Assassin's Creed one, two, and three. Oh my god. The most conspiracy theory yeah. shit imaginable. Like this is like. Dude. Alex Jones would be jacking himself yeah, off playing I, fucking Assassin's I was, Creed. That's I how was, I remember that. being naked one night and see, like playing a game when I was a 10-year-old boy, right? And then some shit would happen. I'd be like, what? There's no way. The fucking like story and like how it just – it wasn't really you know insane really. But it, as a kid, it was so enjoyable how, how many layers to that game that there was. And it was fun and you were murdering people. And it seemed like there was a reason, what? and the game just had so and, much. And to you it. get to the end of Assassin's Creed Two, and it's like, what the fuck kind of space age conspiracy theory <laughs> yeah. is this? And you know what? You know what Assassin's Creed is nowadays? You buy that shit for Terrible. you buy that shit for PlayStation or Xbox, and it's just like it's just it's just like it's a mukbang it's like watching a nico kato video and it's like yeah. the food that's uh, on his table it's like there's no substance to it it's just 900 yeah. packs of fucking ramen sure that's gonna last yeah. you a month but it's not gonna be a fun time you know like uh-huh. it's just yeah, it's, shit. it's like it's an entertaining game yeah like the the one in ancient greece especially that one was fucking awesome that was fun as hell but there was like no really story to be found and they wanted to Egypt. It was good too. Yeah, pirate dude, game. To I need to go back and pay, play Black Flag. Black Flag. Yeah, oh, four. Those... Black Flag was dope. That was when it came out. I was like, oh, this is like peak franchise shit. And then after that, yeah. it's like Unity. Well, Unity wasn't bad. It's just it launched in such a shit state that that's what like fucked everyone in the in the mouth for a little bit. And then all the other like shit. Then they made it like Call of Duty, where it's like every year you gotta like. I remember like fucking when after Unity, they're like, "Hey guys, can you believe it? A new Assassin's Creed game got leaked." I'm like, "Leaked, huh? It's all leaks, right? It's not like they fucking yeah. leaked it out themselves." I'm sure Ubisoft didn't do. I'm sure. <laughs> and uh, at that point, we were all kind of out of it. But it's like even with like most games nowadays, to go back to that whole thing is they just feel like you're either buying a skeleton or you're just buying like a prettier version of what you would have gotten years ago, except now it takes an actual year post release to come out. Like Cyberpunk's a nice game. Like nice game now that it's done, like it's it's a game, right? Like you'd pick it up in the bar- fucking bargain bin and you wouldn't complain too much, right? Remember when they planned to have a multiplayer for it? Hey, 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 I was on the I was on the board, the subreddit for it. We don't talk about that anymore. That's <laughs> that's that's like that's like MIB neuralizer shit. Like, <laughs> but yeah, no, I remember. Like they had grandiose plans, never came to fruition. 
But it's like when you look at a game like Cyberpunk and it's nice, right? Like it's whatever. How much different is that than when like GTA 4 or sorry, 5 launched back in 2013? Like that was a fucking mind blower. Like say what you will about GTA yeah. 5. It's a fucking true. Rockstar's, a Rockstar's dog shit now. Yeah, they are. Like, then it was insane, dude. But back and it when, still is fun as fuck. Oh, yeah, dude. When GTA 5 launched, I was still blown away. I was like, dude, they got a whole city, like cops chasing you. Like they actually drive around, like the proper recreation of like Los Angeles. I mean, nowadays, even if you compare GTA 5 to like fucking Cyberpunk 2077 and the fucking T posing flying characters all mm-hmm. the way around, it's like, <laughs> is it really that much better now? Like, sure, okay, graphics kind of look a little prettier, but even then it's like, fucking whatever. It doesn't we, work. We, dude, we sound like bitter old men, but I think we the really are. Yeah, I am. I was thinking the same thing, but I think that I will one own of the it. Why, why we're complaining about this is because the games that are just old IPs remade in the simplest way are the ones that make the most money. And yes. it just incentivizes companies to just keep making the same games. They're not really innovating in any way. I'm used to just getting fucked by my favorite... Uh, my favorite <laughs> by all uh, our favorite franchises. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite franchise. They love fucking me. Battlefront 2? Um, What's Galactic Conquest? What's the best mode that <laughs> everyone loves and wants well, to see return? We don't know what that is. Dude, the, the last game that I've been playing at all, like, ever. Like, fucking the most played game. My best game of last year. And it's gonna blow Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Fucking three games I've already played over again, just released yeah, again. That's it. Good. That's my favorite one. I'm like, like why that? I'm like, why would you re- Commander my- Shepard, dude? My brother was like, why would you replay these games? I'm like, because they were fucking good. That's why. So good. We want me to fucking dig up Mass Effect Andromeda and like there I might have been a sex scene I missed. Fucking- <laughs> right <laughs> but you're right like game developers just like to fuck me okay like mass effect i loaded up andromeda they want to fuck me every time i play a fucking modern Dude, game the the worst though for real i think the worst biggest culprit aside from 343 has got to be bethesda with all their shit they do they my favorite game of all time was morrowind the elder scrolls 3 morrowind which is the dumbest you can beat it in four minutes, yeah, right? Yeah. You can literally fly to the end and fucking beat it within. Oh, you don't even really beat it. It's just it ends <laughs> yeah. like the the the, the narrative you ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you just like yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, that game is so stupid. Wait, they're, they're rude. Yeah, I'd always be like, dude, why the fuck do I keep falling down? As a kid, I I like walk into some house and I'd have a big sword and I'd be like, ha. And the chick would just punch <laughs> me twice, and I'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, but dude, Yo. like, but dude, like, Matt. You're finally awake. Yeah. Dude, like, but yeah, you're right. Bethesda uh. nowadays, fucking every time, like, uh. anything. I'm excited. I, I think, though, for real, I'm going to say it on this podcast so it's on the record. I think the, the space one, what is it called? Starfield? Starfield. Quest? Starfield. 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 I think it's going to be the new... It's gonna, it's gonna, they're gonna, okay, I'm lying right now. They're gonna, they're gonna fucking restart gaming and it's gonna be the okay, new foundation stop. for Epping. Is Starfield, Elder Scrolls 6, we're gonna be, we're gonna have, we're gonna be men again. All right. It's gonna be yeah, exactly. the next no one's fucking space. Do you, do you, Nux, do you just hear this? Do you hear this again? Like, this is what Todd Howard wants. <laughs> this is cope. Dude, I will this suck cope. Todd Howard's this is cope. dick and balls, bro. Dude, if he makes ago, a good game, I fucking love Todd. A minute ago, He's this cute. guy, this guy, just one minute ago, was like, fuck Bethesda. <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, I, I fucking hate like, Bethesda. I think Starfield might be like, a beautiful flower. Okay, with I believe it's on. just because, yeah. because like the the uh the what was the um the people who made Obsidian they they made the space game of Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds, yeah, yeah, because like it looked really good and I played it and it just didn't feel it just wasn't Bethesda. So like Bethesda has to fix their shit and so does everything. I, or I'm done. I'm leaving. <laughs> Where you're are you out going? Of, you're out of the game. Lit. Yep. I'm, yeah, I'm not, not playing video games anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, He's gonna start watching anime. What are you gonna, what are you gonna switch off? Start to? watching Listen. anime. I know. <laughs> like he, he's like, <laughs> where, I, where are you going? I think Bethesda sucks, and then you can't be a minute. Listen, you know what? I think Starfield's gonna save my marriage. I really am betting on. I hope it does, Morrowind. dude. Oh. You know, you, you know you, what I was I, thinking. I, I'm not as like. Also, the problem with live service games is, let's say you have. Um, the Halo Infinite is kind of the most extreme example, as is like Battlefield 2042. But let's say you have a game where you have the skeleton of the multiplayer, right? 
and you play that skeleton so often, so much, that when they have a new update and a new map, you're like, oh shit, scraps, new scraps. And then you eat those scraps, and then you get tired of those scraps within like a week or two. So it just creates this like this constant process of like, oh, I'll play the game for two weeks, and then I fuck off, and then, oh, you know, something new. A couple months later, I'll play it for a bit, and then fuck off. Look, I, I remember when they updated 2042 with patch 4.0, and I was on the Reddit, and they were like, hey, guys, guys, they just put a new gun skin in the game. And everyone was like, really? That's what you're fucking excited about? A new fucking gun skin there? Is that, is that what's that new getting you off? I really want to see what the new scoreboard looks like. Yeah, you can finally see if you're fucking sucking ass in the game now, <laughs> and you can roast other people. They have voice chat. Wait. Remember, guys, legacy features, voice legacy chat. features, Muda. Yeah, high. yeah, voice chat. Remember, yeah. And by the way, the voice chat doesn't work because I fucking connected to a game and I could not shit on my team, man. I could not. There was there was a one guy I could not talk to the team and I could not shit around. I it would be voice chat if you could scream at like the other players. You guys remember back when COD Four? They had a perk in Call of Duty Four where you could hear the enemy team's voice. Yeah, comms. yeah, yeah. They already, dude, That's could you imagine insane. how... That was so cool. Imagine, for a minute, if, like, Battlefield, like, 2042, one of the specialists had the ability to hack voice comms on the field. So as you're in proximity Yo, during a fucking crazy. capture, like, you could hear them, like, you could hear their radio, and you could, like, tell your friends, like, hey, guys, they're going to this site. They would fucking defend yeah. that shit. That would be what I would love. I would love to hear, like, voice chirps, like, from the entire lobby, like, creeping in. Like, fucking, you could, that would be the kind of gameplay. I always thought, like, when they were going to release newer systems, and they had all these SSDs and fancy systems and cloud gaming and all this bullshit, that they were really going to innovate. I thought my war games, they were going to go beyond, like, 32 players on 32 players. That's old shit. We've seen that for a <clears> while. <throat> I thought it was going to be, like, fucking, you see that fucking stadium? Blow it up. Like, Levolution, like, bring That's what that I to the extreme too. end, right? Like, Yeah, I mean... No, they, you can only blow up this one rock yeah, yeah. in the corner somewhere. <laughs> blow up the rock and be happy with that, okay? Like, <laughs> Bad Company, for example, had great d d destruction physics. You could blow up the like, whole fucking buildings, yeah. You, yeah, you, you could destroy the entire harder. buildings. You could raise buildings in, like, what was that, 2009 or something? Yeah, 2009. 2010? Something like that. It, it, it's so funny. It always, it, even when it comes to, I'm glad you told you told me about raising buildings. You remember ga game Crackdown Three? Yeah, yeah. I, I, so I was the one guy. Where do you find these games? Wait, you don't know Crackdown Three? No, what's Crackdown? Okay, what about so, Crackdown Two? Okay, so oh, Crackdown Nux. Two, everyone knows Crackdown Two. So no, <laughs> Crackdown Three, like back in the like, I, I want to tell you when the Xbox One launched. This was the showcase. This was like what Microsoft yeah. was showing off to everyone. You know, this was like. Hey guys, so what they did was they had this reveal demo of like they they could they shot the skyscraper supports and the skyscraper fell onto another skyscraper and it was they could destroy the whole city in the entire game. Damn. Right? And so what they were doing was they were like, we have the power of the Xbox cloud, okay? We're going to have like 20 Xboxes on the side fucking helping you out, okay? We're probably going to get a bunch of sweatshop yeah, kids. Wow. Yeah, like we're going to have sweatshop kids in fucking like China just sitting down there and programming the destruction in real time. Like it was some fucking some crazy keynote shit. Never yeah. fucking happened. Because when Crackdown 3 came out, it was the most boring fucking game that I ever played. Yeah, it was terrible. And, and I'm gonna be honest, I was super excited about that game. I was like... That this is what I was like sending on the on the fucking Skype groups. This is that old when we were all talking on Skype. Discord wasn't a thing. Oh shit! We were on Skype. I was like, hey guys, you see this footage for old fucking... school? I was like, did you, you guys just see pulled this... up Skype? I did, dude. I was like, I was oh, like, I was guys, like, we're... before this, furries, that's 2014, crazy. dude. Wow. I was, dude, I'm telling you, I was on like, I'm like, guys, we're on Microsoft Skype. I'm going to tell you about this Microsoft <laughs> Xbox Microsoft game, Skype? and I cannot imagine how amazing these destruction. And then you know what? I got older, I got fatter, I started paying fucking taxes, and Crackdown Three came out to be the fucking biggest disappointment in the fucking world. Like that dude, drop. I don't know what is up with Microsoft's like first party output games, like. You know they're doing one hundred percent fucking Colombian while they're fucking filming. Like they're they're not. They're it's not insane. The they can't get it right. Yeah, they but, just can't get it right. You know how wild it is when like Force is the only one that are like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll fucking do it. We'll bring the heat, I guess. Wait, yeah. what? What's yeah, cool? Force is fun. What, what are the Gears of War guys doing? Oh, thumbs up their asses. Oh, three four three. <laughs> wait, you guys are making Halo? Oh, that's the what? Thumbs up your asses too. 
Age of Empires. Wait, you guys are doing better than the others? Shit, congratulations, 20-year-old what's, fucking game. What's Fable? What's Fable? Didn't we Didn't we used to have, like, a big main, like, RPG? Bro, Peter yeah. Molyneux's uh, out there fucking working on NFTs. They still have to, like, uh, send the H team to hurting crap. right now. You just, you just re- reminded me of another dead chapter of my favorite <laughs> video games. Well, there goes, no! there goes the rest of the pedals. Slowly fall off the flower. Oh, do you, do you I remember used to love Fable. At the start of Fable, when you're a kid, if you attacked a police officer, he would be like, What the blazes do you think you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a town guard. Dude, th- dude I, I remember just Fable too. Like, you could just raise your whole fucking family and everything. And then Peter Molyneux's out there fucking off making iPhone games when he should be making fucking Fable 4. Like, somebody bring that jackass back. It, it is yeah. fucked up. Look, it's fucked up when, like, only Forza, like, Playground Games are the only people that are like, oh, yeah, we can make a racing game. Hell yeah, we can make an amazing fucking ra- Gran Turismo. Fuck that shit. We can dominate them. Who cares? And they're the only ones, like, like I got to imagine the Xbox first party, like, meeting, like, they all, like, get together and they bring their fucking, you know, games on a platter, right? Like, Forza out there, like, working 60-hour weeks, they bring in like Forza and they're like, look at this fucking great game we made. 343 and Game Freak are out there jerking each other off, figuring out who the fuck can work the least in the business. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> god damn it, Game Freak. Yeah, wow. <laughs> like, like, Game, Freak, Game Freak is like the worst because that shit still sells and it'll always sell. And it's been the same shit since I would play the first fucking Pokemon game. It has not yeah. changed at all. It's the same tedious text boxes. Like, you you don't have to tell me my Pokemon took poison damage Dude, every single that time. That is my biggest argument with I the know Nintendo it took community. poison damage. It's poison. It says it's poison. Dude, Make this, this my... shit quick. Dude, do you know how fucking angry I get with the Nintendo community? Because we all, I always get into fucking arguments. I'm like, can your game have voice acting? I'm like, why doesn't Pokemon have like voice acting? Okay, like, why don't? Because it would be cringe. Because Because it would be cringe and terrible. But like, dude, when you send out Charmander for it to go, (laughs) meh. Okay, (laughs) voice acting for the Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, but like fucking just for the characters. No. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) They don't have voice acting for any of these fucking games, and I'm like, and even when it comes to Pokemon, it's like it's the same formula over and over again it's like get the eight badges you know occasionally you go to the go to the gym feed and there's no post game either dude back in pokemon games like on the game the, boy the advancing game to... is always like there's a post game guys it's the battle tower where you just sit yep. in one place and battle like 50 guys i, I know it's like it, dude i'm not a twitch streamer i'm not gonna sit here fucking battle towering like other people i want an actual Bro, story piece to it gold and silver had post game and the post game was an entirely was new game, game. There was it was a new game. game. Yeah. Oh my god! And, and now Dude, it's like it's like fucking wild. You should you should see my brother. He's like to this day he's still a Pokemon fan. Like I don't know why. Okay, like I keep telling him like, are you like a masochist? Like do you like getting cucked or something? <laughs> like is this like a fucking secret thing for you? But uh, he'll buy every Pokemon game. So he and ev- dude every year he like goes to the store he buys this shit. Last time I went to the Pokemon like midnight reveal with him. The most copium I ever saw being snorted at a fucking, like, GameStop line, okay? Like, I'm over there, and these people are like, this time it's gonna be good, guys. This time, this time, I swear to God, it's gonna be amazing, all right? This time, (laughs) if any sentence starts with this time and it involves anything (laughs) consumable, like, entertainment, this time it's not good. (laughs) This time it will be good. Like, the guy at the GameStop was handing out fucking Pokemon land yards, and I was like, thanks. And everyone was, like, taking fucking photos, like, wow, look at what we got, oh my god, we're gonna get game and everything look at all these pre-order bonuses it's like what what starter are you gonna pick and i'm like oh man the good one like maybe that one that's what i'm gonna go for it's also i mean it's and since the pokemon games are so basic you know what a nuzlocke is yeah it's yeah. like you add your own rules and stipulations to the pokemon yeah. game because it's like so easy and the, the pokemon games are so basic there are communities built around the self-imposed rules of more difficult challenges dude they, yeah like that's that's like the opposite of elden ring in the from soft debate yeah. some games are it's too fucking opposite. easy that they need more difficulty options you know i'm surprised pokemon has not capitalized and added the ability to have like a built-in nuzlocke or randomizer i'm surprised yeah, they've never dude, done that with yeah, like, fact, like challenge to, the roms do so well they're all the most oh, downloaded you know, roms are pokemon 
I'm pretty sure. You know what the what also my biggest problem is, okay, is also the AI, right? Because <laughs> if I see <laughs> if I More see like another just, fisherman just a, that throws out six fucking magic carts at me, I'm gonna <laughs> lose my goddamn no, no, mind. I, I love those fishermen because <laughs> like the first one's level five and this is a great one's way to six. grind, but it's just a grind. It's like Yeah, no, I and by the way, know. did you see the game review for like Pokemon Gen 3? It like became a whole meme. It was like Two out of ten. Too much water. Oh like, yeah, yeah. That's the Omega <laughs> Ruby. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I, re- I remember that. There was too much water in those oh, games. But like, though. dude, that's <laughs> a game about water, though. There was a the whole fucking plot with water. <laughs> okay, like, all right, all right. Thing. The worst villains in gaming history: Team Magma and Team Aqua. Okay, Team Magma's plan was they wanted to turn the entire world into land and get rid of all the water. And Team Aqua's plan was to turn the whole world into water and get rid of all the land. So, so basically, one of them wanted to like one of them wanted to like fucking starve to death because they didn't need any water. Imagine yeah. signing off on and that. The other one wanted to <laughs> flood. These were the bad guys, okay? <laughs> you didn't play that? Yeah, no, I, yeah, the focus group was like a fucking it's... preschool. Oh, oh, I never played that one. Bro. Which one? No, oh, I don't Ruby play, and I don't play Nintendos. Was... It reminds him too no much of anime. No, I don't like cartoons, and I don't play Nintendo. <laughs> Honestly, like <laughs> exactly. fucking, if it wasn't for if it wasn't for Metroid, <laughs> and you have to just you have to just sit with your mouth like this the whole time. I don't fucking do any of that stuff. If, I, if, dude, if, it, if it wasn't for Metroid, <laughs> I would not fucking give a fuck about Nintendo, like at all. Like I, I can play Legend of Zelda, and that's fine and everything, and it's like cool, whatever. I'll put some time into that, but it's like. I ain't fucking giving a shit about. I haven't given a shit about Pokemon since Diamond and Pearl from the DS. Okay, true. This is this is like this is like way back in like fucking. We're still in the middle school days, you know, like fucking not high school yet. Uh, Legend of Zelda, like shit. I'll play another RPG. Okay, I'll load up some Final Fantasy. You know, like I'll do a lineup. Final Fantasy is just Zelda's a poor man's Final Fantasy. Dude, see now that you said that, they're gonna fucking behead you. Like, they're actually gonna like. <laughs> yeah, they're arse, gonna behead you. I was like, wait a arse, minute. Did those words just come out yeah, of his mouth? Slash Legend of Zelda is gonna fucking find out where you live and kill you. Like that's what they're gonna—they'll <laughs> actually discover you. That's how fucked up it is. I will say, <laughs> like legitimately though, like Final Fantasy, something about that—the uh, graphics for Final Fantasy. When I was a kid, I never wanted to play it. I don't know why. Oh, like on the PS One? Just, no, just yeah, like the one? way that it looks. Just all the Final Fantasy it games like that a all my anime. I think so, but I didn't even know <laughs> what anime like was. Cartoon. I didn't even, even as I, a kid you hated you cartoons. Like, yeah. you're like, <laughs> stem from a racial place, <laughs> These fucking people in their square Olympic V's, their heads are huge. Why are they putting anime in my video games? <laughs> why? why I'm like playing old and trail. I got face. dysentery, and then there, this shit comes out. He's got a big sword. That's too big to hold. <laughs> It is too big of a sword to hold. What were you saying? It is. Never their hair. Their hair. Yeah, exactly. You were going about their the hair. exactly. No, but like I thought you were going to be like, oh, the graphics look sick. This Final Fantasy VII remake is awesome. No, and then you're I, like, I oh, like, no, it looks like, like fucking even anime. now, it just something about it. And I, I, I don't not like anime either. It's all just a meme. But like, <laughs> legitimately, the game, I just something about the way that it looks never interested me as a kid, and still doesn't. I look at it and I don't even, I can't even remember. Really? Why are what it looks like? So I can remember uh, Dead Dead or Alive. What's that game? The one with the women, the big breasts fighting? Yeah, yeah, that's Dead, Dead or Alive. alive. Yeah. I used to play the uh, fuck out of that. All right. He's like, you're such a fucking. You're, you're trying like, to play it off made, so cool. Like that game. You Dead made or an alive? exception for that game. No, no, Dead there was alive a guy. Beach um, volleyball. Yeah, I did. I made it very specific. It was a time in my life I was desperate for good games. Uh, there was a character in that game who his favorite food was beef stew, and I used to always play as that guy because I thought it was really cool. <laughs> Beef stew. He was like a big Russian guy and he had a beret. Mm. I love Sorry, how, like, his Eastern I love European. How, I, love, Eastern I, love, European. I love how when you look at a game, so when people talk about gameplay and shit, like that's what really sucked me in. And Caleb's like beef stew. That Dude, guy, beef like, stew, beef brother. Stew, fucking, it got me. Is it, beef did, stew, did you brother. Just love Red Dead for that? Did you love Red Dead Redemption two just for that? <laughs> no, You're I like Red fuck Dead. The story. I love Red yeah, Dead Redemption two because there wasn't no fucking anime in it. <laughs> there wasn't any anime. <laughs> Big <laughs> mustaches, <laughs> guns, there no fucking anime. And and hunt by the way, have you noticed how guns don't you... ever do anything in like anime ever? It's like you could shoot people. No, they don't. That's why I don't like anime. <laughs> <laughs> comes out. 
But it won't well, ever I mean, hurt anybody. Like, hey, F- FF7's a great example. <laughs> fucking Barrett has a goddamn minigun attached to his arm, yet it doesn't Dude, fuck all the anything, so you're not wrong. Story. Well, yeah. no, okay. In Attack played, on Titan, played... they've killed some people, but that's about Have it. You, you guys played Yakuza, right? Like the Yakuza mm-hmm. games? Barely. So in the gameplay, the Dude, guns Attack don't do Titan fucking shit to you. Get... The stupidest way to use swords, bro. They, they came up with a whole new way to use swords again. Anime is just about you, you, using cool weapons, okay? They'll be like, ah, yes, yeah. this yo-yo, this is my weapon of choice, okay? <laughs> this <laughs> yo-yo blade. <laughs> that actually sounds sick. What the fuck? The yo-yo a blade. yo-yo blade? I would watch an anime with a yo-yo blade. All right, blade. so watch oh, Hunter that would be- Hunter. They actually had one guy with a yo-yo and one guy with a fishing rod on the same team, all right? I'm that- not going to watch Hunter x Hunter. I was on XTC Bro, I already stream. watched yeah, it on Twitch. Thing playing anyways. Yeah, that, that was my favorite era of Twitch when, like, oh, shit, man, I can't afford this HBO Max <laughs> subscription. Let's just go on fucking Twitch. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone's streaming it anyways. But speaking of it, boys, we've got an hour and a half into this podcast, and I think it's been a pretty banger episode so far. We definitely nerded out this, True. this weekend. We gotta get Tara on here. Uh, unbox her button. You nerded out. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't well, fucking watch anime. I'm a beefcake, dude. I'm a beefcake. <laughs> Video games, anime, fuck that, dude. My head's so square and meaty. <laughs> I'm so fucking I'm, I'm on a lot of I'm on I, a lot I of hormones right now, bro. We should, we should women, not like Lara Croft. We should we should get Tara on to do the ending for this, and then I, also unbox what is it? So Ackman gets to be in the episode where we unbox the hundred K plaque. She ended up getting it because uh, she basically does. She basically creates this whole thing for the week. We don't do shit. She, I think she's the MVP all the time. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. She's awesome. She also does that same thing for my entire channel of daily uploads as well. I don't know how you guys handle daily uploads, dude. That's that's crazy. Like, I feel like it's so hard to do meth. daily uploads and to still be, like, entertaining. Lots lots of meth. Crack meth. <laughs> yeah. Cocaine. Keeps it going. It's more productive. Chronic Speed. masturbation. Speed. Well, I just get to that part where I, like, I overthink stuff. And I'm like, man, is this good enough? Is this good? Yeah, the, the key for daily is to not do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you can't. Don't even consider if it's good. Yeah. <laughs> the key for the daily just is just like uh, have a line of ketamine whenever you have those thoughts and just fucking rail it. <laughs> yeah. Then those thoughts go away. And then you're yeah, like, the oh, K, shit, render the up. K like... helps, the K helps with that for sure. It's a holistic medicine, dude. Yeah. Also, <laughs> Caleb, I love the meme of you like – like just bringing in the fact that you don't like anime and cartoons like like bringing that into a conversation and then just like av- abandoning that the topic point just to like piss people <laughs> off <laughs> just like you know i'm the kind of guy who doesn't like anime so naturally you know i put the toilet seat down <laughs> right, right. like just work that into conversations well, that has no place yeah dude Caleb, do you oh, believe yeah. that? Uh, do you believe that Family Guy is an anime? Um, I would say no. How the fuck can you not agree with me on that? Come on, no, dude. I mean, I mean, I feel like, <laughs> I, like from a like a subversive, like contrarian, like oh, it's an anime by technicality point of view. Yeah, for sure. But like, I don't know. I just feel like anime is a Japanese term, right? True. Tell me, we got to be like new. Like people who ride horses in in Spain are not cowboys. <laughs> so Tara, how's it going? How you doing, Tara? Tara agrees with me that Family Guy. That was, was the anime. thumbs up. It was that. <laughs> I absolutely do not. She does. Yay! Though. She actually Wait, hold does. Wait, Tara, Tara, you're the first female guest on the show. Woo! Let's go! Woo. Let's go! Hey! All right, right. equality. Wait. We got a lot to go. We want to reach equality. This whole show has been a fucking sausage fest. Equality, bro. No gay liberal agenda Deep bro, here. Totally, okay. bro. <laughs> we're so we were just talking about how much we hated anime in here, Tara. Wow, it yeah. sounds really cool. Here. <laughs> really cool, yeah. manly. We're a real manly group of people. Yeah. Fuck anime. We're also not furries. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Definitely not. Uh, hold that thought. I've got to go do some curls. <laughs> hold that thought. Go on boys club. Okay, well, I actually do have dumbbells. I don't know if you can, yeah, you are, are you gonna pump kind up of, before you I'm go into yeah, there you go. <laughs> pump, yeah, get a pump before you film. All right, should I open this thing? Well, let's go. Yeah, let's go. we're like ready. What should, if there's a big play... thing of shit in there? That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> if like they sent it to me first <laughs> or something, I shit in it. <laughs> Send it back. Yeah. Susan wrote like a handwritten letter that said, yeah. "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Looking good. Ooh. Looking oh good so far. God. Oh my god. Oh. And I've got. A note Censor that. from Susan herself. Susan Wojcicki. Uh huh. Just how far uh, have you come? 
Did they just send the same? <laughs> That's yeah, yeah, funny, they dude. Yeah, they they sent the same. She wrote the same thing on mine. What? Oh dude, my I have God. one from 20, uh, 2015. <laughs> I bet it's the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I wonder, dude. I mean, I wonder what it says on the old ones. I can go grab mine. I know where it is. You, you still have yours? Yeah. Oh. I'll Narcissist. go get it real quick. <laughs> yeah. I'll go get it. Bro, you Narc think you're, yo, Ackman, you think you're cool? You're doing curls? He has a urinal in his room, okay? Check this no, out. That's a real, that's a real bro. <laughs> wow. So it's a real man's oh, man. Sick. Yo, oh. awesome. Parrot, you earned it. You're I don't think I did. Oh, oh, he's no, brought no. it back. How did he still have that paper? That's I. That went directly into the trash can. <laughs> I still have mine. I still have mine. I didn't even read it. I, I didn't even either. read it. What does it say? This is from 2016. Uh, you just you've done you've just done something very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. Um, so what's your say? It. it says some 100,000 subscribers. Just how far have you come? If each of your subscribers were a light year, they could take you from one oh side God, of the Milky Way cringe. to the other. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. yeah, they don't have YouTube rewind to back away to, oh. so come on now. Yeah, mine doesn't say any of that dumb shit. It says, <laughs> you made it to this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and chances are a healthy sense of humor. Oh. Oh. She must watch my videos on Feed and Grow Fish! What, what uh, did like Susan wait, actually did? it not did. compliment your sense of humor, Tara? Oh my god, that's pretty sexist, <laughs> not gonna lie. What if it actually- That's sexist, what, Susan. What if it was I'm like an real, actual though. intern on the- What if they hired a real intern to read, to watch your channel before they wrote that? So it's like, Oompa, your, your, your videos on shitting on fat people has been absolutely inspiring. <laughs> and we know. also do not <laughs> like fat people. <laughs> I mean, imagine, imagine the person who produced the plaque for Eat That Pussy 445. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That send that out. <laughs> wow, Eat That Pussy 445. Your and videos so have inspired as a thousands. Does he even the, really the, the guy working at the little facility doing the etching, like, picked it up. He's, like, just brushed off all the etches. Like, there we go. You see how that's written? Eat that pussy. That means eat that <laughs> pussy, guys. That is my. That I don't is even, my it doesn't even say my name on it. <laughs> it literally just says the only thing that's personalized is that I have a hundred thousand subscribers. <laughs> that's not personalized. Everyone reached that. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, but on the real, it is pretty cool that YouTube even does anything for milestones for, for like yeah. yeah. For thousands they, dude, they of used people. to give you money. Really? Yeah, they, they used, used to, to give you like, yeah, they used to give you money. They used to they give, give you, you fucking money. Card. How much they money? Gave just it was like 500 bucks. bucks. Yeah. I'll take the plaque, man. Over 500 bucks. How much does a plaque sell for? Oh, Zero. Fuck all. I'm not going to sell it. It looks cool. I gotta... they, they said I was mentally challenged. Oh, they were inspired or challenged. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, Never mind. I'm looking at an eBay listing for YouTube play button real quick. Fifty dollars. <laughs> wow. eBay listing for play Worth buttons. It. There's a oh. fucking economy for that. For, dude, for a gold? For a gold one, dude. That's we're looking at hundred and twenty-seven dollars from Japan. No way. Hell yeah. Oh, it's a paperweight one. Okay, so it's not real. Mine's got bullet holes in it. Before we end the podcast, I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. Tara, you might have to censor and add like a postal code if it okay. shows up in this one because uh, it's eBay. And the last time I ever got doxxed was through eBay. You can always get your hands on one of these for eight dollars and twenty-five cents. <laughs> one day you two can cut some cookies wow yeah, i mean look at the play buttons though they're, they're, they're actually it's like a whole thing if you guys want to make a quick hundo 69 dollars paperweight metal 58 gold there's like no official play button there's a t-shirt oh youtube for beginners oh i'm gonna buy this fuck yeah, yeah dude. you sound like you Hell need yeah. it i i really do <laughs> <laughs> bazinga bazinga hey guys, i say that after every joke i make by the way so do I. <laughs> hey guys, we have a lot in common. We can buy the we can buy the thing Paramount didn't read at all, so that's one thing. Bazinga, bazinga. <laughs> that really does make it funny. <laughs> you know, they're on to something. It bro, makes it funny when show. it's out of the blue because, especially if it's someone else's joke, and you're just interrupting it. <laughs> Well, Tara, being the first female to make history on this derelict podcast, how would you like to extra us out of here? How would you like to take us away?
Hi. <laughs> she <laughs> learned from me, bro. Oh, yeah. Yes. She's been editing so much. Well, for her. I think I, 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 I,